and joining us now is the brilliant Justin Wilman. Thank you so much for being here, Justin. Thank you for having me, James. We're huge fans of the, your show, In Our House. Now, your show, as we just saw on that clip, is all about amazing one-on-one -on -one interactions with people. Have you been able to keep performing whilst we've been socially distancing? I gotta say, I mean, it's been a little tough. It's, it's required a lot of improv. You know, as a magician, you kind of have to go into jazz mode. I don't really have props. So it's like, what kind of stuff can I do with things lying around the house? Uh, for example, here, I've got, th there's this thing here. Can you hand me that? Great. Okay, so. <laughs> That's a great reveal. <laughs> yeah, this, this is my son, Jackson. Look, it's James Corden. Say hi, James. Uh, he does not know who you are. Don't be offended. He's one and a half. Uh, listen, so I've been trying to teach him the ways of the family business. Oh, it's okay, buddy. We're very alike. We've become very synchronized in quarantine. We wake up at the same time. We wake up at seven. We go to the bathroom, we get out of bed, and um, we've been uh, we've been practicing some tricks. I'd love to try out a trick. This oh, is going to be would, late We would eight. love that. Okay, Jack, we're going to do the water trick. Are you ready, buddy? Okay, sit sit on Daddy's lap. <clears throat> Here we go. For this, we use a uh, a solo cup and some water. You ready, dude? Watch. Water goes into the into the cup. I wave. I snap. Wave your hand. Great, you're doing great. And just like that, the water disappears. <laughs> Good work. Well, yeah, well, don't pull, don't pull that. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't know that you shouldn't reveal how to do it. So it uses the diaper. James, that, I, I don't think I have to explain much more than that. Thanks for that, buddy. <laughs> this is what your dad does for a living. Okay, he's done. I think he's clocking out. Well, thank you, Jackson. That was absolutely brilliant. Now, I you have some tricks for us. I have yeah. no idea what you're about to do. So I'm, but I'm so, very, very excited. We're doing this via video chat and this is great for my first appearance. This is exactly how I visualized it. We're <laughs> gonna connect via the screen here. Um, Reggie, you're here with us as well, I believe, right? I am, yes. Fantastic. I brought a box. I wanna make sure you can see it. This will be important in a moment. I put something in the box earlier. I'll tell you what it is later. Just take note of the box. We'll get back to the box. Uh, I've been, I've been asking a lot of friends about this because I feel like in quarantine, we're realizing all the stuff that we uh, took for granted, you know, out in the real world. So James, I'm curious, I know you love music. What band are you super excited to see live? When we can all go out and see a show, what band do you really miss? Um, well, there's, 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 there's lots I'm excited so to see. Many. Uh, I always, I'm excited to see Arctic Monkeys play live. Arctic Monkeys. Perfect. Arctic Monkeys. And, you know, when it's safe to hop on an airplane again, what destination, what city, maybe it's somewhere warm or cold, but that you feel like, you know what, I took that place for granted. I want to go there. Oh, what London. City? Where, London? London, for sure. London. Reggie. You know, you've had a lot of celebrities that you've met on the show here with James. What one random celebrity are you very excited to hug? Just to give a big old hug to in person when you can. Uh, I think, uh, ooh, God, that's so tough. Julian Casablancas. Julian <laughs> Casablancas from yeah. The Strokes, I believe, right? Yeah, and The Voids, yeah. Okay, great. So Julian Casablancas. And, and James, you said you're very excited to go see the Arctic Monkeys. Yeah. And you're very excited to go to London. Yes. And Reggie, you want to give Julian Casablancas a hug. We didn't set any of this up, correct? Absolutely not. You could have said anything, you think. Here's the thing. I've been having these weird uh, quarantine dreams. And it might be the lack of sleep because of the baby, but I, I wake up in the morning and I have weird dreams. And I, I put one of my dreams inside this box, uh, a sheet. A sheet of paper. Would you be impressed if inside this box was a sheet of paper that said all the things that you just said? I'd be beyond impressed because I was going to say Coldplay. I had a dream I went no to London way. Arctic Monkeys with Julian Casablancas. Uh, I do realize that I, I forgot to hit mute. You didn't hear any noise that you weren't supposed to hear there by chance, James. Did, you didn't hear a, like a Printer sound, did you find a chance? I did. Uh, then never mind, nothing to read. Okay, let me just explain how this works. So, like I said, you have to come up with magic to do with stuff around the house. So, uh, 
you put a printer in a box <laughs> and you can tell the story about a dream and you can make anything they say come out of a box, okay? Like I said, you have to kind of jazz it up. Um, London, it's not as impressive when you know there's a printer there. It's Wait, very funny though. This was part of the dream too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, this is, no, I didn't write this part down, but I dreamt, I was Zooming with you. We were, we, we were talking about, about a trick and about weird dreams. And then I felt a little uncomfortable because I thought you heard the printer printing. And then I remember in the dream that I picked up the printer and it wasn't actually a printer at all. It was just made of paper. Oh my word, Justin. But then how did the thing, how did I print the, it's a very weird dream. James, I need to get some sleep. I don't know. I can't wait just to get back to normal. That was amazing, Justin. Thank you so much. Thank the you. new season of Magic for Humans is on Netflix right now. That's really blown my mind. We'll be right back after this.